Thanks for tuning in. This is Rocktimus Prime coming at you with another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe Class Viacon. Here's the packaging. It says Viacon Transformers Prime. It's a little smudged because I did open them, as you can see, and the box isn't right. There we go. Transformers Prime Viacon First Edition. There's a picture of your Viacon up there at the top. Nice picture. Right here on the back, you see you got Derek on, Cliff Jumper, and Bumblebee in the sports car mode, and voila. And here we have the Viacon open up and out of his packaging, and I'm sorry for the terrible lighting. For whatever reason, oh, that's really hot. That's a little better. Um, I will admit that that footage was shot on Christmas Day. It is now the 11th of February. I'm sorry. But anyway, yes, uh, here's the Viacon in his robot mode. I think I have the feet wrong, but I can't really tell how they're supposed to be anyway. I think the instructions said like that, but I just don't like the whole high heeled look for this guy. But yes, here's your Viacon looking all Viacon y. Is that a word? I, I felt it. And for size comparison, here we have him with Prime R.I.D. Voyager Optimus. As you can see, he's kind of tall. Take him off. Here we have him with another first edition buddy of his, Starscream. Get him into frame here. So as you can see, Starscream is just a hair taller. Off to the side. Off to there. Yeah. Here we go. But yeah, I really like this Viacon. Um, his backpack looks pretty good to me, show accurate at least. Um, now, he does come with a weapon. And it is, again, show accurate. Um, it pegs onto that little hole in the back there, which you can't see unless I tilt it like that. There you go. That hole like that. <clears throat> Via that little port. Yeah. So, and you can... Uh, fold his arms in like that to give him the uh, not door wing look which I actually do like that they you know closed in the door wings instead of leaving him like some unfortunate Optimus Primes but from what I can tell um I did this wrong my the last run through this so I'm trying to think here da, 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 da. yeah it doesn't look well I guess you can kind of get him to hold his weapon let me see get it wedged in there but I mean who really has their Viacon displayed like this I mean really I mean you can't really plug it into his hand anywhere else it can be underslung so you can use that port there and just stick it in the bottom which is where I think it's supposed to go because um, the port is actually a lot thicker but they do give you one up here just for kicks and giggles so set that off to the side won't talk about it anymore um, the articulation on this guy is kind of weird. His head is on a ball joint, so it goes up and down, all around, and all that fun stuff. His shoulders are on a uh, yeah hinge joint here, then they swivel up about that far. You can move the wheels out to give that look, but in the show, the Viacons always had their wheels up in here. Now, I'm not sure if I had this guy... Whoops transformed wrong or what but his arms won't stay in you have to almost hold it like that to move his arms um and his forearm i don't know is on this kind of a ball joint and his fingers swivel now he does have a waist joint which you cannot really see but it is hindered by the backpack and that's mainly for transformation, which we will get into. And you start seeing the one problem I have with this figure. Everything, nothing really securely stays in place. It's just all kind of there. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. His hips are on a ball joint. He does have a thigh swivel and a pretty decent knee joint. I really do like that. These spikes here, they can move. 
Um, and you also get like this kind of a frontal knee kick, so if you want him, you know, crouched or so, you can have that look going on. Why not? Again, mainly for transformation, and his feet do pivot. So, um, that is just about all I can say for robot mode. I really have a problem getting this guy to stand up straight. I mean, well, that was actually pretty easy. But, um, yeah, I don't really mind him as an actual figure. I do like the fact that this is a clear plastic with a little purple Decepticon logo in there, which you can actually see. Trying to see. I got a couple minutes. Uh, transformation. Yeah. That one. So you want to get his arms out like this. Make, you got to make the car doors. So just come in here. This little underside panel will fold out. If I can. There we go. I don't transform him much. Windshield up and fold the hands in. Just go ahead and fold them in. See, that's another problem. These things. Ugh. But anyway. And then you can come down here to the feet. I just get everything that moves out of the way first. Fold in the feet. Fold those flat. Fold in the feet. Fold those flat. Then these will kind of just sit there and hang out for a while. What you want to do is take this backpack section and untap it for a second. Push his head down. Flip this up. And yes, for a while he will have visible head syndrome. But I mean, I suppose you could turn it around, but it really doesn't do any good. There we go. So you get it like that. Then what you want to do is, because you can see, the wheels on here are like this. But then you go to transform the feet, and you fold this up on that hinge joint I talked about earlier. Rotate it like that. But, the roof section is underneath here. So what are we going to do? Well, several things you can do. Fold this. The second leg, like the first one, and you have to be kind of careful of these uh, spikes here on his legs because they do like to move and get into all sorts of trouble and whatnot. This is a very finicky figure, I, I will say that. Now, what you want to do is take these, fold them down, rotate his arms so it's flat ish, just so you can get the grill section up over. There we go, like that. <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. You can then fold these back. Kind of looking like a jumbled mess right now, but that's okay. Um, you don't want that extended yet. Why that extend? I don't know. Fold out this here. Like that. And then it should... I don't know. This is, I haven't done this in a long time. Fold this down to its level and clipped into the grill. Like that. Yay! Make sure those are level. Because I have a problem. My one side doesn't like to stay in very well. And then with the hands, just kind of push them in so they kind of mesh. That's why they're on a little hinged ball joint so they can connect on the inside like that. Then you got our clip. There are little tabs in here. See that tab there? That tab fits under the front fender. Like that. Then just take this blue panel, fold it up, take this backpack section, fold it down, little tab. Now there are tabs on the back part here, and then there are little slots on the side of the car's fenders, which you just need to push together. They should be lined up pretty good. And there you have him in his vehicle mode. Now, now I do like the Viacon. Um, for all of its faults in robot mode, it looks really good. And yes, visible head syndrome just kind of, hi, if not the bottom there. Um, the tires are kind of hard because, like I said, they're on that joint. And you got to get the fenders lined up. And you got to get the wheels in the pegs. So, I mean, aesthetically, it looks brilliant. It looks exactly like it does in the show. See that bottom? That bottom lip there is hanging out, bottom millimeter. And that drags on the floor. I, I can't figure out why it's doing that either, every time. So, for a size comparison. I can't get his butt done. There we go. Here we have my slightly customized 
Prime R.I.D. Bumblebee. As you can see, he is a bit bigger than Bumblebee. But, you know, Bumblebee is supposed to be kind of small. Setting him off to the side. My nose is whistling. Here we have Soundwave. And um, they're about the same. Well, actually, start, um, Soundwave's a bit longer, as you can see, and a bit wider. But he's a car, he's a stealth bomber jet. I don't think they really ever told us what he was. But yes, that is my review of the Vichicon, and yes, I can see the Batmobile if I squint. You know, -na 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 Batman! And the gun does have storage underneath. There's that little tab there, a little slot there, tab plus slot. If you can get it in, should equal. Where's that stupid tab gone? Okay, so that's not going to stay in. I destroyed the vehicle I'm trying to get it in. But it should fit into a little slot right there, which you wouldn't think getting that tab into that slot there would be that hard. I give up. Anyway, uh, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't hang down at all. Nice and stored up underneath there, but yeah, I'm done. <laughs> this has been Optimus Prime with Transformers Prime First Edition First Edition Clown First Edition Class Viacon, I guess. I uh, hope you guys have a great day, great night. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Hello. Who are you? I'm a time traveler. Who are you? Let's just say I'm someone you will trust. Completely. Now, let me in. You know you can't. You're gonna have to let me in. Why do you need Satellite 5? I can stop it from here. If I use Satellite 5 as an amplifier, I should be able to reach the ship. Do it. Atmos, get him security override 9. Thank you. Now then. Ooh, that's brilliant. I should be able to speak with the onboard AI. Idris? Oh, I'll listen to you, you beauty. Now. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm called the Traveler. I'm here to help you save the ship. I'm sending you codes. Can you input them into your main engine drive? That's a nuclear storm engine, yeah? Shall I burn the sun? The sun. The sun! That's brilliant! Idris, set calls for these coordinates. Bales comply. Ship's navigation systems are offline. Why, 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 why? Oh. Idris, can you shut off the engines? Yes, but why? Fortunately, I'm brilliant with computers. The thing about computers is they're highly sophisticated idiots. They do exactly what you tell them to and nothing more. Even if you order them to kill you. And the thing that works best with computers is ordering them to power down. I just turned off every power system in the Valiant. Right, Idris? Of course she doesn't answer. She can't answer. She's turned off. Now, that ship, if I'm right, there it is, plummeting to Earth. Now, if I put in the code it just gave me earlier, it should give me... System error. System error. No, no. What's going on? Why are you doing this? Hold on. Atmos, remote systems override. Now then, Atmos should have enough power.
Atmos is it? Atmos isn't strong enough on his own. But if we put him in with Edris, Edris online. Can you combine with Atmos's power? Why? Right. Merge system in three, two, one. System merge. Atmos. Online. Begin primary ignition. Primary ignition online. Yes. We have power. We have engines. Atmos, set course for these coordinates. Hold there until you're called for. There we are. Good as new. Now, if you excuse me, I must be getting back to my ship. I have a lot of extensive repairs I have to do. I have something of yours. I mean to get back to you. Fobwatch? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. That Fobwatch will come in handy. Why? Because I can see to your future. And that Fatakate is coming for you. I'm sorry. I really am truly sorry. But you'll need that watch. You never know when you need a good watch. <laughs>